students today let us see a problem from the topic mathematical induction this is the question the expression 3 power n plus 7 power n minus 2 this is divisible by 8 for n greater than or equal to 1 this is what we are asked to prove using mathematical induction we know that mathematical induction involves three steps first of all we have to prove the result for an initial step initial value then we have to assume the result for n is equal to m and finally we have to prove the same result for n is equal to m plus 1 this is the overall idea of uh, mathematical induction now we are clearly given n greater than or equal to 1 so n is equal to 1 is the starting initial value we have to take so for n is equal to 1 what is the value of this expression 3 power n plus 7 power n minus 2 it is 8 8 is divisible by 8 that's natural so result is verified for an initial value n is equal to 1 now let us assume that the result is true for n is equal to m so in the place of m uh, n i put m in the expression so i will get 3 power m plus 7 power m minus 2 is divisible by 8 that is the assumption we are making so if the if we uh, write the assumption in mathematical equation 3 power m plus 7 power m minus 2 has a factor 8 so that can be written as 8 into q that is taken as first equation now let us prove the result is true for n is equal to m plus 1 that is 3 power m plus 1 plus 7 power m plus 1 minus 2 is divisible by 8 start with this expression 3 power m plus 7 power m sorry 3 power m plus 1 plus 7 power m plus 1 minus 2 split up this 3 power m plus 1 as 3 power m into 3 S split up this 7 power m plus 1 as 7 power m into 7 i want to make use of this equation 3 power m plus 7 power m i should get so 3 power m into 3 we are having so i am going to write this 7 as 3 plus 4 so that when i multiply 7 power m inside the bracket i will get 7 power m into 3 plus 7 power m into 4 now I am going to combine these two terms uh, by taking 3 in common 3 power m plus 7 power m still I cannot make use of this equation so since one more term is missing minus 2 so I am going to subtract and add that minus 2 it is just to use the equation 1 so in induction hypothesis you know that we should in the, in the induction step, we have to compulsorily use the uh, first equation. Induction hypothesis, we must compulsorily use it. So, when I multiply this 3 inside the bracket, 3 power m plus 7 power m minus 2. And 3 into 2 is 6. 7 power m into 4 minus 2 is written. And this 3 power m plus 7 power m minus 2 now we are going to make use of this equation 1 as written as 8 into q in the equation 1 I am going to make use of this. 3 is there and 6 minus 2 is written as 4. Now 4 is common in these two terms I take it in common. So you will get 7 power m plus 1. The first term is divisible by 8. At present on the first look it is clear that the second term is divisible by 4 but we need the second term is also divisible by 8. For that what I do is 7 power m is an odd number. So uh, it goes like this 7, 49, 3, 43 like that all are odd number. So when we add one more, one more it is going to be an even number that I am going to take it as 2k. So if we write this is 8k. So 8 is common in both the terms. So I take it in common. 3q plus k. 3q plus k is going to be written as q dash. So this expression 3 power m plus 1 plus 7 power m plus 1 minus 2 is having a factor 8. So it is divisible by 8. So we proved the result for the next number n is equal to m plus 1. So by induction principle it is this result is true for all natural numbers with this the proof is over let us see another problem in the next video thank you